and welcome to the show. We are here today on Beam NG Drive for another round of Stop the Beast. This is the beast in question. It is the G series. It's a slight variant on on the well the T series truck. It's not as strong as some of the vehicles that we have had, but it is definitely a, a tough vehicle to kill. My goal is simple. My goal is to try and survive for 10 minutes while the pursuit vehicles are giving chase. For this first round, they have unlimited uh, resources. We might change the balance between the vehicles they're using, the vehicle I'm using, various bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and survive 10 minutes while they are trying to put a stop to me. Uh, which, I, mean, I don't really know how difficult that is going to be. I suspect because, once again, we're using a truck, we have this... 12 speed gearbox a good portion of my time is going to be spent complaining about the gearbox and probably stalling it uh, i have put locking diffs in it because uh i wanted as best chance as possible uh to not be annoyed by it uh we're not going to go up that road uh we're, we're playing around someone's gonna go for an aerial attack oh that is a great hit actually from the roma didn't think about that it's a good shot i've got to go down the gearbox uh right Cherrier. Uh, okay. Well, you're annoying. Can I can I wipe a Cherrier off on a log? Uh, <laughs> yes, we can. We've got the Cherrier out of the way. Fantastic. Grand Marshal is... Oh, Grand Marshal's in the trees. I was hoping that was going to block stuff. It didn't. That's okay. I mean, I would have liked it to have blocked stuff, but unfortunately we couldn't. Oh, that has taken out a tire. It's blocked the bridge quite nicely. And now they are allowed to respawn, but they're not allowed to instantly respawn. So if they get, if they die, they have to wait a little while before resetting, essentially. Uh, okay, we're going this way. Oh, we took off like a wing mirror of someone. Uh, there goes, oh, there goes the flick the Legron about. So yeah, the exposed wheels do kind of pick cars up and chuck them. Uh, quite significantly. Something to watch out for from those collisions at the back. Oh, Cherry is being sneaky. Uh, for that... Oh! <laughs> Cherry got flipped and <laughs> smashed into the bridge. That worked. Grand Marshal's still going. Oh, that got underneath me. That is not what we wanted. That is not what we were expecting to see. Oh, Grand Marshal is over. Grand Marshal is causing us grief. It's tumbling down the road. Uh, I'm slightly worried. Oh, please don't be a... Oh, thank God that had no collision physics. Uh, <laughs> that was a massive concern. The Legrand's broken its steering on the back of us. Okay, I've got a plan here. It might be clever. It might not be. The Piccolina's spun. Ah, uh, it's not, not so clever because... Okay, we are going for a slam on the brakes. Uh, oh, Cherry has tried to fit through there. Oh, hello, Roma. They've got another tyre, but they're, they're only like the outer tyres they've got at the moment. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 attempt. I think it's in Pega is in that uh, Cherrier. That was a great effort uh, trying to stop it. I mean, it was really flung about there. Uh, the Legron has tried. Oh, the Legron's actually done pretty... Uh, the Legron is hitting quite hard. Well, the Legron and Grand Marshal probably are doing the most uh, trying to prevent this thing from moving. Uh, Piccolina, I'm not sure he's going to do much here. Uh, they're trying to put me in the ditch. Oh, the, the Legron almost put its teammate in the ditch. They've got a lot more vehicles behind me now. This is kind of alarming, if I'm honest with you. Uh, yeah, hello, Piccolina. That was less than good. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, big wreck. <laughs> Legron's definitely out of it for the moment. Piccolina's in trouble, funnily enough. Uh, Grand Marshal bumped the wheel and almost fell in the ditch. The sunburst has been catapulted off. Oh, we're in trouble. We're out. We're dead. Big hit. I think we actually broke Blaze's game as well because the Grand Marshal is stuck in our car. However, that was a good hit. Yeah, we're dead. We're gone. I don't... It, that We were dead before the car got reset. Uh, that is the end of the truck. It We did a lot of damage to them. We did a lot of damage to them. However... The one, the one damaging thing we could hit was the bus stop, and that is the one thing that we did hit. That was the end of us. Yeah, we were out of that. Uh, <laughs> we did some amazing takeouts. However, we did suffer a death, and we didn't survive for as long as I would have liked. But that is the way that it goes sometimes. 
So, it was perhaps a little bit unluckier first round. The right bump at the right time sent me towards a bus stop and the drive shaft was killed. So, we're going to go again. I have improved the truck. It is more powerful. Uh, it is up to 600 horsepower, the biggest turbocharger that we can get. Uh, so, yeah, we will go again. We will try. We will see what we can do with this. Um, I mean, speed's not necessarily my biggest problem, per se. Uh, but yeah, we will see what we can do with this. See what kind of a chance we have to get away. Well, they've all crashed into each other. That is the sort of start that we were hoping. And I'm going to annoy Lombo because Lombo was taking the back route out there before to block off that exit. And this time hasn't done so. Oh, Impegus tried and killed a brazen and killed everyone. <laughs> Perfect. That is what we like to see. That is exactly what we want to see. Oh, corner. Hey, Legrom. Uh, I feel like we should probably remove you from this chase a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go this way. I'm in the wrong gear. I'm getting pushed by a loud Roma. We will get going. We will be okay down here. I mean, the Roma's going to bump the back of us a little bit. Uh, it's not really doing too much. Oh, that's a jump. Did not Oh, wow. They did some synchronized rolls. I don't know what happened to the Roma. It's gone. Uh, now, now, I've got to be careful here because I'm driving a truck at quite a lot of speed down here. Oh, brazen! <laughs> the flying lemon turned up. <laughs> that, I mean, we've seen attempts at jumping at the truck and so on, but that's the highest jump anyone has taken. Uh, that, like, so it's I think it's Joe behind us with an ice series. I've got to be a little bit careful. I take it back completely. Uh, they have foregone careful, and what they've done is crashed directly into us. I was about to say they've got to be careful, because if I get away, they might have difficulties uh, sort of locating me. Uh, but we are just going to push back this way. Uh, come on, truck. I didn't really want to go back the way we've come. doesn't really matter. Uh, Cheria is caught on the back of us. Uh, Cheria is crash-welded into our bumper. And that is potentially game over. If I can't shake it. Oh, there we go. We've shaken it. Uh, it took a little bit of wiggling of the steering uh, to deal with it. But we've got rid of that. Now, if I can get up some speed, uh, that would be good. Oh, Piccolina's gone for a flight. Uh, we've got a oy, sunburst climbing over the back of us. Uh, it's a little bit wedged, the sunburst. Uh, can I shake the sunburst? There we go. Shaking the sunburst. Uh, gotta be careful here. Oh, that's a big hit for a Roma. Okay, this is definitely tough to, to do, to deal with those vehicles giving chase. My steering's a little bent. It's not completely useless. It is a little bit broken. Uh, right, we are going to slow it down. I want to go this way. Oh, they got the front tire. That's worse. I can deal with the rear tires being damaged, but that is a problem when the front tires are gone like that. Uh, I want to go this way. Oh, good God, Legron! <laughs> I was trying to put the Legron into a into one of the pylons. Didn't expect to send it over us at that point. That was madness. It was a spectacular hit. Oh, that was a good hit. That could be us in trouble here. Uh, we are crash welded to a sunburst. Problem we've got is we're not dead, but we are crash welded to everything. I think sunburst might actually be dead. Uh, right, we can go. Uh, I think we're we're not stopped in this. The cherry has been flung about. I'm trying to get rid of the Roma. Uh, okay, you are going. Uh, I'm crash welded on something. Uh, I don't know. We are free again. Uh, we're going to just chew up some cars. Right, truck. Kind of looks a bit like Optimus Prime, to be honest with you. Uh, where's a forward gear? Go, 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 truck. Go. Go. Pick Alina out of the way. That's probably not the vehicle they wanted. My radiator's gone, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Oh, the Cherry has had a hell of a flip. 
We've smashed something that had gone into a bus stop. Uh, right. Uh, we're gonna get going again. Roma out of the way. <laughs> okay, we're off. Uh... Yeah, Legrand is... I mean, everything is a little bit scared of going alongside me. My steering's really bad here. Uh, you can go that way. You can go, well, a direction that's away from me. That's fine. <laughs> Tell you what. I mean, this is not as crazy as some of the vehicles I've driven in this series. By any stretch of the imagination, this is a much more just normal truck. And it is taking a hell of a battering. It doesn't steer very well. Well, uh... Oh, physics was unhappy with that. <laughs> Have I got a gear that's a forward gear? Uh, I've chew I'm chewing up a Roma. I think actually they reset the Roma because that was going to glitch everything out. Uh, right, forward gear. That's a forward gear. We can move. The truck lives. There's a lot of poorly cars back there, but the truck lives. Uh, right, here we go. We are going to climb. We're going to spit out the I-Series. That's fine. It just bounced off the back. The Grand Marshal doesn't really want to get involved with this. Oh, I don't quite know what we've done with a Chariot there. It's fine. There's some gears in here somewhere with oh, what I-Series is. Oh, physics. Stop doing that. I mean, we've got physics to death there. Uh, I don't even know what's got on with my truck there. We go back for another J-turn. Possibly. Uh, oh, the gear. I knew the gearbox was going to drive me absolutely mad. Because uh, you're just smashing or trying to smash through the box to get somewhere. Uh, it's still going. It's lost tires all over the place. We've gone back as a force down this road. They're all smashed to pieces. The cherry has been ejected from the chase now. Uh, there's going to be. There's some cars bouncing from the left, but I want to get to the trees because I know there'll be cover there. The Piccolina's tried to attach itself to us. It's not worked. Oh, my steering's so poorly. I mean, we are struggling now because I've got no steering left um, in all of this. But this is still going. The Piccolina's uh, been absolutely wrecked there. My front tyre kind of inflates as it goes along from time to time, which is a bit weird. Uh, we have done a serious amount of damage to that lot, though. I mean, my truck is is heavily, heavily beaten up here. Uh, I want to get off this road in an attempt to buy myself some time, buy myself a reprieve, but I haven't really got anywhere to go uh, down here. I'm very concerned about the steering. I, I think I'm going to end up plowing it into something on my own at this rate. I, I'm not going to make that corner. Oh, did not see that turn up. Oh, it was a good hit from the sunburst. It did some damage to us. Oh, crap. Cars are turning up. All right, I'm going to have to make this turn. Uh, oh. And it just missed us. Gears, gears, gears. Go, 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 go. Use the torque. I mean, it's overheating, but this the engine in this takes so long to overheat. The time will be up before uh, that ever becomes a factor. Oh, the sunburst ate a tree. The beast is... is hanging on by a thread. Oh. Well, they found someone's got lost and was resetting up here. <laughs> I think we got around in a big circle, maybe. I'm not even sure at this point. I don't know where I am. I'm really lost on the island here. Uh, I'm just driving my broken... At some point, I'm going to go around a corner and we're going to hit something at about 70 miles an hour and they are going to have a bad day at that point. No idea how long I've got left in this. Oh, crap. Cars are turning up. Don't, one of them is a very heavily damaged car. One of them is a brand new Grand Marshal. Don't really want this. Oh, I'm going on the brakes because we know we've got to go. I don't know what the road goes over this crest. Okay, well, we can put the I-Series out of commission. Oh, no, we can't. The I-Series has done a number on us. Uh, we've shredded up bits of Grand Marshal. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, God. Turn, 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 please. Uh, Piccolina, not too worried. Sunburst has caught back up again. Uh, right, we will kind of... Oh, God, smack into them a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, Grand Marshal, go towards the bridge. Oh, Cherry has been spun around. And everyone, like, is back behind us again, which is alarming. Come on, truck. 
turn. Steer with the rear a little bit. That would be good. The sunburst looks poorly. Oh, my engine's getting hot. Uh, I mean, it has been working hard. The sunburst has wedged itself to the side of us. Sunburst, could you... Oh, that might have done more damage to me than I wanted it to. <laughs> uh-oh. 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 Go on. Oh! The time is up! It has been completed! The time... We are victorious! They could not stop the beast. I mean, they got close. They got very close indeed. But they could not stop the beast. Victory goes the way of the G-Series. I mean, they gave it a damn good try. It was poorly, it was heavily damaged, but they could not stop it. Amazingly, for the second round, we actually managed to get a victory. Despite my truck being a mess and it being complete and utter chaos and me barely being able to hear the uh, alarm for the end of the time, it did get a victory. So, we are going to try again. My truck remains the same. The vehicles giving chase have been improved in terms of their speed a little bit, or maybe they're a bit bigger, a bit stronger vehicles. They're not crazy, they're not in truly ridiculous uh, vehicles giving chase, but uh, they're going to be a bit more competition for me, essentially. Uh, there's a hopper, there's, I think, kind of Bast there's a bastion, there's... Oh, some other bits and pieces around the place as well. Uh, hello, Lombo. I would like to take your wheel. Uh, I missed the wheel, but I did take the wing. You know, it's a good day when you manage to steal someone's wing. Because, of course, I can't have a wing. Well, I guess I could. We all know the Pikes Peak truck that has the most ridiculous wing. Yeah, the hopper's not great. I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, the Grand Marshal has found a wall all on its own. Uh, I would like you to go that way, please, and I intend on going into town. Uh, that's an ice series into the bridge. The Roma has... That's not gone well for the Roma, has it? <laughs> Should be a bit careful down here, because all it would take is a good hit, and I could end up in that barrier, and that would be bad for me. Uh, we're going to turn this way and get away. Oh, don't! I don't want to chuck a Roma at myself. That would be quite a big vehicle to uh, have launched at, uh, well, at myself. In fact, I've nicked a bit of the Roma. I've got its front bumper and grill uh, in my, or by my fuel tanks. Oh, got some understeer going on there. The Bastion's climbed over and is visiting the trees. It's taken off me exhaust. Not that I needed that all that much. Oh, crap. Brazen's, the, bra <laughs> the Glambulance has turned up. Oh, Roma's been catapulted off the back of my truck. The, the Roma's out for a while. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, the hopper the hopper doesn't really do much. It's too lighter an SUV. It, or little, little it just pings off of the back of me. Uh, whereas Brazen's massive thing... Whoa! The, the hopper's piggybacking. Hopper's being flipped and twisted. It's still alive. Barely. And then another pun. So the hopper, not great. Grand Marshal, I wanted to put it into the Armco, but I couldn't quite get the hit. I think Brazen's had a crash with the monstrosity. So it's an I-Series and a Grand Marshal at the moment, trying to do their worst. Uh, oh, Grand Marshal's flipped. And I tell you what, it has actually caused us some grief in that flip. Oh, can't get a gear, can't get a gear. Okay, well, this is bad. I can get a forward. I've got to go mess about with the gearbox a lot. Thankfully, I'm protected from any crashes because they've blocked the road, which is wonderful. Thank you for that. That's been very helpful. Quickly, Scarpe. Let them make a mess of things. Yep, that road was helpfully blocked. The Grand Marshal, I think, was broken, and they were trying to shuffle it out of the way, but they couldn't get it moved soon enough. So, well, they have done some damage. There is some damage on my truck. It has been... It's not the most pronounced handling issue. And I don't know whether this is a good way to go. This looks dangerous if... Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping, weaving down one of these roads, they... Oh, bad. Don't need... I don't want to be on dirt. This is not the truck for this. I've not got the tires. I'm not all-wheel drive. Uh, okay, thankfully, it's only a little bit of dirt. Yeah, this was a road choice. I've only got one on them following me. If I can kill that... Oh, no, 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 no. Bastion, I think, is actually all-wheel drive. Uh, I could be in a lot of trouble. If that hits me and puts me in a tree, we could be in, in trouble here, because it's narrow. 
course, it's got to be careful. Yeah. Why? Oh, no. Okay, more of them are on this road than I thought. About to say it's got to be careful. And then uh, whenever I say that, they just chuck it. I was expecting them to be a bit more careful because they didn't want to lose sight of me or block that path. But no, they've just gone for a, a, a chuck it and hope kind of approach. Oh, my corner. Uh, stop. No, no, we don't stop. We don't. We never stop. We can't stop. Oh, make that corner. We're fine. Okay, the, the bastion... So the damage doesn't sink perfectly, so that Bastion is not as heavily damaged. It wouldn't be able to keep up if it was missing a front wheel like that. Oh, there is the Roma. Too slow. <laughs> Almost was there at the right time. Thankfully, they were, they were smart and they backed out of trying to block. Because they would have ended up just blocking their own cars in. Uh, right. We're gonna... Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a little game. You wait for them to be right behind, just dab the brakes and then throttle up to fling them off of it, or we can just do that. That was, that was a pretty... That was a burnout-style takedown right there on the Bastion. That's gone. The Hopper. I think... I think Amy's driving the Hopper. And we saw the Piccolina get launched, but honestly, I think the Hopper gets launched better than the Piccolina. If it... You know, it, it really does get flung very nicely. I uh, don't know where this road goes, so we've had to slow down a little bit. Uh, oh, the Roma's there. The monstrosity is also uh, right behind. The Roma is a lot harder to fling. I mean, I've shredded the front end of it. Uh, oh, that's a yeah, that's a good place to try and do some damage. Monstrosity. <laughs> oh, well, it's not done as I thought that was going to be more fearsome than that. <laughs> I love how they've got stronger cars and they've done less this time. How does that work? That's not supposed to be how it happens at all. But it is. I've got four minutes to, to try and live, and I've managed to lose pretty much all of them. Should we just go down to the beach? Should we just have a picnic? I feel like that's a good idea. Well, it's quite a long way down to the beach, but uh, this is, it's, it's a quick truck. Don't know where we're wrong. We're just, you know, blasting along a mountain road at 90 mile an hour in a truck, and it's not really even struggling at that. But, uh, yeah. They have really... I think the problem with... Things like the hopper and that ambulance... The, the bigger ride height is a problem because it actually picks up like they, they end up on my rear wheels and get flung my brakes are fading that is a concern uh i do not need brake fade going on uh i don't know i can't really do much about it especially if we're going downhill i'm gonna try and stay off the brakes i'm trying to cool the brake well there's no one around i'm just gonna try and cool the brakes uh so we will not go too i say that as we're going downhill i'm now picking up speed i'm gonna have to go on the brakes but yeah, I could really do with cooling the brakes. That is a genuine concern, because uh, we have been involved in quite a lot. I didn't notice it, that message popping up in the last run. I'm sure it did. Actually, to be fair, we've been going faster this run. Quite a lot. We've had a lot more high speed. We haven't really had, uh, you know, the slow bumping duels where the brakes would cool, uh, as we had last time. But we have got a little bit of peace. There was, I think, a bastion behind me at one point. Uh, that seems to have crashed. The hopper crashed. Uh, trying to catch up. We saw that in trouble. So yeah, I can just use this time to cool my brakes and yeah, give the truck a little bit of a rest. And don't bin it, basically, or when I'm driving around. Oh, man, oh, I found a petrol station. How nice. Uh, we're probably going to find someone at some point around here. Cause at the end of the day, it's an island, right? We're looping. We're going to be just looping around on ourselves and someone's going to turn around or someone's going to try to take a shortcut somewhere. Um... I feel we've done a pretty good job. From the first chase where we I mean, we were a bit unlucky, the second chase we were hounded but the truck kept going. Weirdly, this one that should have been harder, it's not actually been too bad. I can see a hopper again. I mean, the brakes have had a lovely break. I've barely had to use them. There's debris from someone down there. I, I, the hopper we know is just not very good. I'm just not that worried about it. There's something further back there. Uh, we're just letting the truck breathe. And then, whoop! <laughs> Oh, it's my favourite thing. This truck is better than any other, I think, so far. The 800 series was quite good. Uh, but this truck is just astonishingly good at flicking the cars around. Oh, I was going to go right there. I can still go right here, I think. Oh. I'm hoping that sign doesn't exist. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, a chassis turned up. 
I'm going to say that's the hopper, because it could be the Roma. Either of those could lose, could have just the body driving along and, uh, sorry, have the chassis driving along, can like be debodied, essentially. Uh, I mean, I'm half tempted to go down into that, but I don't really want to. Oh, we actually got away. We are victorious in that we have successfully got away. We only had a minute left anyway on the survival. So they've gone faster in terms of their vehicles and were way less effective. That's the science for you right there. Science has been achieved. The truck is mighty. The truck is mighty indeed. Most of the damage came from me crashing a tree after the finish. We head into our final round. My truck remains the same. It was so brutally effective. In the last one, the vehicles, the pursuit vehicles, they've got faster. In fact, you can see one of them. Faster and or bigger and stronger. Uh, so, yeah, we'll try. This is likely to be tough. Uh, I say that I really did not expect the previous round to be as easy as it was. I say as easy as it was. It wasn't easy, easy. But it, we had surprising, surprising strength in that. Um... Oh yeah, this is going to be difficult. They've got, oh, well, I mean, that's made life a little bit easier for me if they crash into each other. Uh, but they've got a lot of SUVs. They've got, well, they've got the original Beast is the thing behind us. There's Roma's and there's Brazen's horrific ambulance. This is the other horrific ambulance. There's a Fast Eye series, which I mean is a choice in terms of a vehicle. Uh, well, the, oh, that's had a, I mean, it's wrecked one of my tires, but it was almost worth it just for the spectacle. Uh, we disintegrated the truck. The I-Series has gone flying and potentially lost a wheel. Uh, the Roma is a bit stuck on uh, us. Uh, we're in, I think, the wrong gear. Uh, right, we want to go this way. The Roma's going to want to back out of that because there's a tree. Oh, and I'm in the wrong gear. Why am I not driving? Am I stalled? Hold on. Okay, I think we just... I think it just stalled uh, more than anything. I uh, just didn't want to get fired up. Uh, this is the really annoying bit. Oh, is it stalled again? Why is it stalled? Uh, the I-Series is just stuck in my wheel, and that has now been pinged free. Yeah, if it stalls, it's a little bit of a problem. Uh, oh, Joe's upside down and, and parked. Um, yeah, if we stall, I just didn't downshift enough, because at the end of the day, I'm in a truck, and I'm not used to dealing with these gearboxes. So, yeah, we have to be careful. Uh, that's... Ooh, that's been debodied. Holy crap, that has been like fully debodied on the D series. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. That's really cool though. So, the, the, a lot of them have got the the SUVs and um, pickups and all that, and I don't know whether they're what you want because we've seen they've had so many issues. I mean, they are heavier and they are going to hit harder, and you know you kind of need that dealing with a seven-ton truck. But they've got more ride height, and the problem. <laughs> that... Oh, corner. The debodied one is actually still driving minus the body. Uh, well, now the body has completely come off. Well, a lot of. Uh, that has got considerably lighter now. Oh. That was a good attempt at a pitman over there. It's just a. There's a pickup bed chasing me at the moment. <laughs> It's the stupidest chase we've ever had. Uh, don't know what, I mean, it can't really do much to me at the moment, which is good for us. Uh, don't know where this road goes, don't know how fast to go. I'm slightly more worried about the Roma. I, I mean, it's not getting flung. Oh, oh, wow, it actually has done the serious damage. Uh, it is kind of caught on us. Uh, well, I mean, we've eaten... The chassis is stuck on us. Uh, we are not going to be able to... I can't steer because the chassis is wedged under me at the moment. Uh, which... Yeah, it's not... Well, I mean, we, we have got going. And we will get the truck moving. <laughs> I'm amazed that that didn't bend up. How on earth my wheels survived that? We hit the barrier really hard. Um... But, uh, yeah, I've lost some tyres. Nothing major in the tyre department. Uh, the front ones are okay. Yeah, I, I hit the... Oh, good try. Great try on that one. Christ. Uh, 
the Roma's having a nibble, but it's not working. Yeah, the, when that got wedged underneath us, we hit the wall really hard. I thought for sure I'd bent a front wheel on this, but it has survived that impact. Yeah, we've got three flat tires. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a very good hit from the Roma. My steering is a little bit unhappy now with that. Um, come on, truck. There we go. We have got going again. Uh, the I-Series is just... Oh, it's taken out another tyre in there. I mean, it's not really doing much. Oh, and there we go. It's going to get spun free. So, yeah, rear left corner is a problem. Despite that, that takeout, oh, we've managed to spook the Roma. Oh, into a big crash. There is the uh, bus stop that killed us in the first run. Oh, that's a very sideways uh, Roma behind us. The, uh, oh. The D-Series hit the arm coat and had an off. Uh-oh. Uh All my brakes are having fun, fun times. That one's eaten a tree. My brakes are already melting. That's not good. Uh, I, there's, yeah, you can flash the lights all you like. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to do much. My steering's a little poorly. It's not the best. Uh, nah, tra trick didn't quite work, although I think we have broken the I-Series, but... Uh, didn't quite work to flip. The ice series is going to be more difficult to launch because it's not going to ride over the wheel as easily. Uh, whoa! Drifty truck. Drifty truck. Over the bridge. We go. Uh, what's this way? Don't know. Uh, let's go find out. Seventh. Is that going to work? We can use the talk. Oh, the Roma's in a try to see a wheel bounce out of a bush. <laughs> I think there was a Roma in that bush. <laughs> That's fine. I'm okay with that. Come on, mighty, mighty truck. It's, yeah, it's not happy. It is quite drifty with, what has it got, four tyres flat now? Uh, so yeah, it does get quite drifty in some of the corners if we are not careful. And I am worried about the brakes. Uh, they are starting to go. I mean, we can have, uh, we can have a little bit of a breather here. And I can have a bit of a breather against the I-Series we know we outmuscle that. So, yeah, I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, yeah, we try, we want to try... Oh, God, I want to try and cool the brakes before we have to start dealing with big trucks. And the thing is, like, to cool the brakes, I've just got to be driving slower so I don't have to brake as much when we get to a corner. But, of course, when I drive slower, everything catches up to me better and quicker. So I have to deal with more vehicles. It's... Yeah. The brakes are a concern for sure. I haven't really felt much in, in terms of poor stopping performance uh, yet with this. So maybe the brake fade isn't as bad as I think it's going to be. However, it is a real concern. When you're driving a truck this heavy, this fast, if the brakes let go on me, it'd be very easy for me to just have an accident uh, completely on my own. The I-Series just knows it can't really do much here uh, on its own. Come on. Come on, track. The Roma's going to get involved soon now. And they've got the D-Series back there. The I-Series has gone for it and just been catapulted forwards. Uh, oh, the Roma has tried to get involved. That can go... Oh, well, I'm going this way. I'm going very sideways. Okay. Well, wasn't quite what I intended on doing, but is what we are going to do. That can get spat out. I was hoping it was going to go into a tree. It didn't. That's a big flip. Oh, we're in trouble, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> survived. Good push from the Roma there. We will encourage it towards a tree. Get away, we get away with that one. Yeah, that could have done a lot of damage, depending on how that had hit. All right, D-Series, I feel like you need to get out of the way. You definitely need to get out of the way now. Um, that has had an accident. Oh, we've chewed up a lot of the front end. The ambulance has turned up. That's where my brakes are... are that's where, yeah, my brake fade could be a problem when I've got to slam on the brakes for something like that. Or oh, we are caught in a lot of things. Can Oh, it's the door. It's the door of the Roma that's got us, I think. Uh, we are still alive. My gearbox is so bad. Okay, we're free of the Roma. Uh, can we push gearbox forward? Just a gear would be lovely. If I could get into a gear that I wanted... It's still going. It's wrapped the door around a wheel, uh, which I'm hoping is going to get free. Oh, a fuel tank is gone. Uh, that fuel tank has come off. Oh, there's a lot of fire. 
There's a lot of fire. Things are looking bad. Because that's going to melt my brakes even more, I think. Now, I don't know if that's going to be... Uh, we don't even know if we still drive. Uh, honestly, it was more... <laughs> The thing is, it's not really even being stopped. It's mostly just being crash welded in place. Uh, yeah, I think it ha well, I mean, it has been. Now it's been stopped. It has most. It, sadly, it was a lot more crash welding that was prevent, like bits of debris chewing up a wheel. Um, uh, can we? I mean, we technically are still driving. We still have some drive, but it is. Oh, can we climb over the I series? Hold on. I mean, oh, oh. No, nah, we're gonna get. That's gonna get lifted up. Yeah, we're on fire. Uh, <laughs> I think we would have actually think, regardless of where we stopped there, that fire. Oh, we only had six, 15 seconds left. We almost did it. They did a great job of pinning me at the end there. Uh, I mean, it's the only real way to stop this damn thing. Uh, it's so. It was mighty quick, uh, but they managed to get enough vehicles around it. Slight frustrating. The debris is always a thing with beam. Uh, like weird debris uh, going on, but uh, yeah, what a truck! I mean, for what it is, mighty impressive. It is on fire, uh, but it is still going uh, from all of that. Uh, yeah, this is a hell of a vehicle. It's way stronger than you expect it to be, and surprisingly quick. Not bad handling either. Again, for a seven-ton truck. But there we go. That is going to be it for this for this video. I should put links to all the mods used in the description. If you want to have a go with them yourself. But uh, yeah. Shall be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time. Uh, yeah, goodbye.